Hi traders, welcome to the recording of my live trading session today and the lesson of today is extremely important so stay tuned. I'm about to go long Tesla because it's moving close to the highs. It started with a big gap down now I'm buying 2000 shares right over here expecting it to move to a new high. It's a nice technical formation, it's, there's nothing wrong about uh, this trade so far and Again, stay with me because it's going to become extremely interesting soon. Now, Tesla is going sideways, nothing wrong about that. A small pullback and now it's building a very, very nice technical formation, a cup and handle. So you can see the cup over here and then the handle being built right there and I'm adding, I'm adding another 1000 shares right now, expecting a breakout because usually when Tesla breaks out, it looks great, amazing and I could have had a very quick partial, very quick profit. But Tesla chose otherwise. It's coming down. My planned stop loss is 207.50. I should not let it come down underneath, but it just touched and I did not move out. And I'm going to discuss this really soon. Now it's coming even lower than this. It actually moved down underneath 207 and I did not stop it. And I'm using, in this case, an adaptive stop loss. And look at what happens to Tesla now. It's getting back to the highs and finally having the spike I was looking for earlier. Now I'm going to take a quick partial, which was not my planned target right over here. As you can see, I'm up $4,000 and I'm selling and I'm leaving just 200 shares. So I'm extremely happy for the fact that I did not have a losing trade in Tesla. But there's something I need to discuss here. First, take a look at Tesla. You can see the reason why I chose 207.50 as my stop loss. It's a two and a half dollar stop loss and it looks quite fine in normal terms. Now, what I'm about to say is for traders who are advanced traders, this shouldn't be used. Like, don't do it at home if you're just starting out. If you're starting out, you should have a stop loss. You should, in fact, put in your stop loss into your platform and just move out whenever the stock that you traded hits your stop loss. But if you are an advanced trader, there's more things to look at, like, for example, the S&P 500. Now take a look at the S&P 500. The S&P 500 is moving higher. And in fact, the whole time Tesla moved sideways and, in, and also came down and supposedly hit my stop loss, the S&P kept moving higher. Now I will admit, Tesla was a wrong choice. I shouldn't have traded Tesla today. It, it's weaker than other stocks and I had another great trade in Netflix which just continued to move higher and just continued with S&P. But Tesla did not. Tesla went sideways, actually went down and was supposed to take me out. Now, why did I change my stop loss? And again, advanced traders only because not all stop loss should be accepted as to the point where you decided to have your stop loss. You should use an adaptive stop loss sometimes, not all the time. You should use an adaptive stop loss based on what is happening to the stock that you're trading and to the S&P 500. Now the S&P 500 is the leading indicator in the world. What If the S&P is moving up, that means that institutional traders are buying. So Tesla, however weak it is, it's likely to respond to the S&P 500. Now, if it's coming down and hitting my stop loss at the point where the S&P is going sideways and looks like it's about to move to a new high. Now, take a look at the S&P. It moved all the time to new highs. Then at some point, it is very, very likely that Tesla will respond to the S&P and will move higher. So if you're trading a stock, that is going sideways or even coming down and hitting your stop loss, you should always take a look at the S&P and make your decision based on the S&P. Now, I will admit again, if Tesla would have moved under the loss, I probably would have closed the trade because a breakdown in Tesla, I don't want to be there. But I would have taken at this point a loser, which is much bigger than I anticipated. And that's OK. It's also OK to take a profit at the point where you did not expect to take the profit. Now, I took my profit shorter as to the point where I uh, planned. I mean, my plan was to take a profit at around two and a half points. I took my profit just over one point. Now, should I do that? Yes, you should also use an adaptive target as well. That's another lesson. We'll talk about that. But again, based on the behavior of the stock and the S&P 500, you should adapt your stop and your target. Advanced traders only. Thank you for listening for this lesson. And if you liked it, please give me a like, 
helps my channel and helps more people like you enjoy day trading videos. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, there's a button right over here. So hit on the subscribe button and on the notification bell if you want to be notified of my future uploads. And plenty of links right here below. If you want to trade the same platform I'm trading, the Colmex Pro platform, there's a link right here below. Start with the demo. It's free. Use it. Don't trade live money. Don't risk your capital. Trading is extremely hard and most traders lose money. So just start with the demo. Thank you very much for listening to this lesson and I'll see you in my next lessons.